Greetings everyone, it is Friday and this is Donnie. Welcome back to my channel. You are watching Diamond Painting by Donnie and today is the pack and chat number six for Drill Pen Frenzy, my Etsy shop. I am going to get started right away because I got a late start today and I only have a couple hours before I need to send the husband out to get this to the post office. Uh, first order is for Lori in Massachusetts. She ordered a light purple, girls are the best, diamonds are a girl's best friend, and a blue paintbrush. There is your receipt. Here are your pins. And there are your pen tips, your drill tips. So I don't have a uh, question of the day today. I mean, not quite, oh my goodness. I don't have a tag um, because I don't have any left and I really didn't have time to research another one. Uh, but uh, I'll just try and yammer away while you watch me wrap your orders. I do have uh, several pens that were not listed in the shop yet. I do have a few sets of the new drill, t the new um, multi placers, the flat ones, and I have more row straighteners. But. Um, I haven't listed them yet because I'm trying to rework how they are listed. What I'm going to do is, if you want a multi-tip on your pen, you will just um, purchase your pen and then you will purchase the drill tip that you want. Um, of course it'll be a separate listing. and. Since things are, you're not charged shipping by how many items you have, you're charged by weight. So as long as you are ordering a pen with a drill tip, you won't be charged a, a separate 350 just for the tip. And all you need to do is put a note in with the order, because there is a spot to do that, that you want the drill tip put on your pen. Now at the moment there are only two pens that I have that have the capability of having something different put on it other than the normal drill tip. Uh, so if you order more than one, you just need to let me know which pen you want it on. Otherwise, I will know which one it is just by the fact that there's very few that can have it. There are different colors of the one, so if you order more than one color, just tell me which one you want which tip on. And, you know, someone said um, something about offering them in sets. Well, it's basically you make your own set because you could have part of the set in a peacock pen and you can have part of the, the set in um, mermaid pens. But it's just the way the shop is set up. It, I would have to set aside a certain amount of those like row straighteners for that and if those aren't selling as much as the row straightener by themselves, I, I wouldn't. I would have them, but they would be um, stuck in a different listing. So this way, people are able to um, either purchase the tip by themselves, by itself, or on a pen. Now. Um, I'm also going to offer the old style pens, uh, pen tips, sorry, for those that really aren't into the multi tip, the flat ones that use the sticker, the adhesive stuff. And so that will be available to those that 
want that and I will include um, uh, you will get some adhesive with it depending on uh, how many tips you order so that'll all be in the description of each item so this is for you Lori your order is ready we will get that sent off today so we have 24 pens in this order and there are 16 orders next one goes to Tammy in Kansas she ordered the crystal butterfly diamond painting pen in rose gold there is your receipt Here is your pen. Beautiful rose gold. Crystal butterfly. And there's your drill tip. Okay, I also have like um, some other accessories for diamond painting. Um, It'll be, it'll be just like listed in the, it, the section will be called um, add-ons, add-on accessories. So it's going to make more sense to, you know, for people to purchase those in addition to the pin that they're already there shopping for. I mean, I don't expect, you know, huge sales from them, but... They'll be there for the people who are wanting them. Because I've had some requests for certain things. And if I've got it, why not? Now, I have a different type of tape to try um, for those double-sided. I, I bought a, a few different types. For the double-sided tape that goes it's not just regular tape either it's a special type and i got a, a few different things hoping that they'll work for that uh, one thing i actually purchased um was too thick so i already sent that back so i have a couple more that i want to try out and if they work i will be able to offer those in the shop as well So it's just a, a lot of um, marketing type, I don't know, not marketing, but just it's a lot of trying to figure out what goes with what, and so I'm hoping to have all that up by tomorrow, and my next order goes out Monday, so you'll have plenty of time to order if you are wanting one before the next shipment <clears throat> comes in. <clears throat> excuse me because the next um all the orders that come in that came in from noon yesterday until uh, noon on sunday will be going out monday all right so tammy your order is ready get your little package all tidied up in here all right next order goes to Rachel in Rhode Island I think this is the first Rhode Island order she ordered the purple peacock pizzazz filled and there's your receipt and here is your pin there is your filled pen. And there is your drill tip. So this is one of the pens that I'm able to use um, to put uh, multi-tips on or a row straightener. You know, you'll still have the option to buy the row straightener and those tips without being put on a pen. 
it, it's just um, the shipping, the cost of shipping nowadays, which is not anything I can control, is it's so much more worth the shipping when you are able to get more than one thing ordered so that you're not having to say, you know, oh, I forgot to get this, and then you have to pay the shipping all over again after because your order already went out. So I really, I hate having to see people paying that much shipping. It's just, uh, I, yeah, I already did my shipping rant in my last video. I'm trying to get out some of my um, unboxings. I'm trying to get some of those posted. You know, it's just still a matter of having to edit them and get them uploaded. Boy, I just don't have anything to say now today, do I? I really would look for a tag if I had more time. Oh, and one other thing. The group the Facebook group, it is a drama-free zone. I don't want drama in there. Drama will be removed. I don't, um, I don't go for that. I mean, I, I made the group for, for everybody to share their works, to ask questions, you know, and I know a lot of the people that are, have joined the group are not, um, from, from the videos, from my didn't come from the YouTube community. They came straight from Facebook, and they aren't aware of me and who I am and all the stuff about me that most of you know. And I'm not the kind of person that you know. I I, I don't thrive on drama like a lot of people. Some other groups might. Uh, so Rachel in Rhode Island, your order is ready. Here we go. If you hear some strange sounds, that's Stephanie laughing. She's home from, she doesn't have work today and her room is right on the other side of the wall from the camera. Sometimes when I'm making videos, yeah, that's her. Sometimes when I'm making videos, she, says talk louder so she can hear what I'm saying because she doesn't watch the videos. This next one is for Nicola in Minnesota. MN. She ordered the My Little Pony. And there is your receipt. I don't know why it's not focusing. And here is your pen. And there's your drill tip. Some of these are very labor intensive when it comes to making them. Uh, especially, mostly all the metal, metal pens, they are ones that sometimes take hours to get perfect. And my husband, since he's been, he's started uh, helping me, he gets frustrated. And then it frustrates me because I'm like, well, you wanted to do this. So I need you to calm down and just learn because he's still learning. And I have to practice my patience with um, him learning because I'm not a very good, uh, I'm not really patient with adult men. Well, I guess I should just say my husband. I'm not very patient with him. I should be, but he, um, uh, my patience can go so far, but I've been working on being more patient with him because love is patient. And I need to practice that more. And that's something that I've worked on and gotten better at with my kids, but, um, 
just my husband. It's not anyone else that I have a hard time being patient with. I don't know why. I forgot to show the washi tape I was using today because I ran out of the other one on the last package last time. Oh, I can't find the big Here it is. So here's the... It's a polka dot glittery. Purple polka dot or pink. This color is more of a... It's between purple and pink, so I want to call it purple. But this other color here is definitely pink. Alright, so we are one step further into um, getting some t-shirts made up process takes a while to get started for us and we actually got started on that and it's just a matter of making the designs now because neither one of us are designing people <laughs> all right Nicola in Minnesota your order is ready now let's get that in here Next order is to Stephen in Canada, and this is um, a gift receipt, um, but it's to himself. I, I'm not quite sure. It's the rounded diamond painting pen filled. There is your gift receipt. And that is right here. There's the red pen filled and there's your tip. Those are pretty red. Um I also have a bunch new a bunch of new pens that I've not had in the shop before that I will be adding. Um, I'm not sure if I should bring somebody else in to help me with those descriptions because uh, I'm not sure what's happening with Dorothy. I'm hoping she's okay, but I have not heard from her. I did message her um, a couple days ago. So I don't know if she's just not feeling well enough to answer or if she's serious, something seriously happened. But I'll hope for the best. In the meantime, I'll just kind of... I, the descriptions really are bad when I make them because I have not a creative bone in my body when it comes to words. So... Yeah, and my husband is, he always comes to me for <laughs> questioning whether something sounds right or whatever when writing. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll seek out help, temporary help for somebody who might want to help uh, put descriptions on my Etsy listings. It's really hard too because I don't like to tell people no, but I really do need um, some creative descriptions. Um, something that's actually going to stand out and make the person interested, you know, seeing what, and understand what the description of the, describing the item is, because there are some things about the pens that people need to know, like metal or plastic, they're made of, um, they have a, something that's detachable, 
um, whether it's short, whether it's extra long, you know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm really struggling to find things to talk about. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I slept almost 12 hours last night, though. All right, Stephen, your order is ready for that long trip to Canada. Uh, yeah, I went to bed at 7 o'clock last night with Teslin. And by the time I read her a story and got her all arranged and got my nightly routine done, it was about 8 o'clock by the time I fell asleep. And I got up at 7. Well, I got up a little bit before 7. But next order goes to Christina in Washington. She ordered three pins. She ordered the mini Valentine's Day pin in Candy Hearts, which is right here. And then she ordered the Loud and Proud mini. Here's your drill tip for the mini Valentine pin. Here is your mini Loud and Proud. And then the third one is one that um, we are taking out of the shop as soon as the last one sells. And this was the second to the last one. It is the Follow Your Dreams drill tip with the keychain, which is right here. And get this one wrapped up. These are just um, one of those that always gives issues because it has a lot of moving parts and I try to secure all moving parts and they break easy. I um, actually had to pull quite a few from the store because they were not, um, they didn't hold up to the conversion process. All right, so that's wrapped. And tape wants to come off. All right, so then the, get these other ones. Did I show you your drill tip? Yeah, I did. Okay. But I was just, I actually did some diamond painting yesterday and then drama broke out in the group and I was having to um, kind of figure that out. And then I had um, I watched a little bit of TV with my husband and then I went to bed. I was just so looking for it. It was like 5 o'clock and I was ready for bed. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, can I go to bed? And he's like, well, you can go to bed at 7 when Tessa goes to bed. And I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. I'll do that. I, I just rare that I will sleep that many hours straight. Oh, I woke up in so much pain. Huh. And that's one of the problems with if I do sleep that many hours, I will hurt. I will be hurting so much. I don't know how people can handle just laying in one position all night. Well, for 12 hours plus. Their probably, bodies are probably in better shape than mine, but man. I'm glad I have a, a Echo... We have an Echo Dot in the bedroom and one in the living room. And until Tuslin gets in her own bed, Jim prefers to sleep on the couch where she, he doesn't have her kicking him, taking up the whole bed. And so I'm able to call out to him through the Echo so he could come help me it up. I couldn't, I can't, I can't even move when I'm hurting like that. 
Yes, help me sit up. So everybody woke up when I got up. It was about a quarter till seven, so it wasn't that early. And this is the last of the pink for now. So I'm switching to a green next. I know pink, I, I could look at pink all day, but I'm running out of some of the pink tissue paper. So I gotta use up what I have. Once I start up a new one, I will probably get back to pink again. Pink and the blue. And I think I have a purple. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Uh. So it's Friday, and I actually had... I picked up my... I picked up a scratch art book. I had talked about it and I showed it in one of my videos. I don't know if I've even posted that video yet. In fact, I think I was going to post that today. But anyway, um, I was just working on it a little bit um, while I was editing. And Tessin comes home and sees it. And she wants to try that. Can I try? You know, and I'm like, oh, I don't think so. How about, you know, she was upset. She wanted to try it. So I said, let's see if we can find one specifically for you. So I checked out Amazon and I found one that is for kids. And so she is going, I ordered it and I let her know it was going to be here Friday. And it came while she was at school. So this morning when she was getting ready for school, I told her, today is the day that your scratch art comes. And she was so excited. So she can't wait to get home to try out scratch art. Oh, come on. These are so hard to see the beginnings. All right, let's see if we can get this tape down. All right, Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. All right, so Christina in Washington, your order is ready, and here is your keychain. So that means I need to start a new clip. So as soon as I get this in here, I will get the new paper out and start a new clip. It does seem that I can get six pins done in an hour or half hour. Oh, that's only half hour, six pins every half hour. So it takes me about five minutes per pin or per, per wrapping. All right, guys, I'll be back in a minute. All right, here we go. Next order is for Anne in California. She ordered the Myth of the Mermaid. Mermaid tail. And here is your pen. There's your drill tip. It's your pretty tail. And for those that aren't aware, this is the other pen that I can put different tips on. And I will have the listing and make sure I read the listings because I will put on there that those multiple tips can only be put on the certain pens. Oh, 
Okay, so here's the pretty green I was talking about. And the washi tape, oh, here it is. It is sparkly with hearts. I wish I had something to talk about. I have a lot of things going on in my head I'm thinking about, but probably not things you really want to hear. Just, um, oh, okay, there it is. Things about, you know, it's really, it's really stressing me out trying to figure out how to list all the drill tips. And I, I honestly, when I started this shop, I had no idea it was going to get this big. And then um, now we're looking at t-shirts and mugs and totes and uh, keychains and all that kind of stuff. Merchandise. And that's probably not something, because I thought about it, but it's not something I ever spoke about until my husband started helping. He really doesn't want to have to go back to work outside of the home. He wants to be able to do this full time. All right, so Anne, your order is ready. Here you go. Tucked away. And the next order is coming up. And that is for Delfina in California. She ordered the help, my very last Hello Kitty pen. Here's your order. And here is your pen. Right there's your Hello Kitty. And there's your drill tip. I'm so concerned about um, with China being shut down. I've ordered um, more of the pink pens, but they haven't even shipped them out yet because they're on holiday and I am getting dangerously low on them. Uh, so what might happen is if I run out, I'm, I'll probably just have to um, put the shop on hold or uh, vacation mode or whatever it is until I can get some tips because um, I just received an order uh, maybe a week ago of 200 and those are almost gone so the next time I order I'm going to um, order 500 of them because, you know, sometimes when we're making pens, mistakes happen. It gets squeezed a little too hard. So, you know, we end up having to not use, not being able to use that tip. So it happens. And especially when you're training someone, it happens a lot more. I had to teach him how to be a little gentler when uh, squeezing them off of the plastic part because it's really easy to squish them because they're made out of a really thin material. So if you are looking to um, get another pen sometime probably in the next month if the shop is not open that's just temporary until I can get more pens more pen tips I honestly had no idea I was going to have this much of a um, rush and I thought that order that I had done on um, Sunday was a you know like a one-time fluke but it's been pretty consistent all week 
So um, I had no way to prepare ahead of time because I had no idea. I had no idea. I was just going by how it had been going previously. So Delphina, your order is ready. I, I do like this green, even though I'm not a green fan. That's I think it's pretty. Anything sparkly really is pretty. And there's that. Okay. Next goes to Cynthia in Pennsylvania. She ordered the little bit of sparkle in blue. And here is your pen. Here's your pen tip, your drill tip, and there's your little bit of sparkle. Yeah, um, I've decided that it is easier to just do these orders in the morning uh, rather than um, try and do it at night and then be really tired because I have to get up at 7 o'clock in the morning either way and while Jim is helping me until he can do it on his own, making the pens, you know, um, this works better. Because when Teslin's home at night, she really doesn't like for us to be busy doing stuff. We can't really work. We tried it the one time on Sunday because we really have to do a big order like that. 70, what, 73 pens, something like that. We had to get that done Sunday night. Because there was just no way we would have been able to get it all done in the morning before the mail came. So, I don't know. It's really hard having a home office with little kids that, you know, they only have two days off on the weekend and they want your attention, and I don't blame her. I feel so guilty not giving her attention. I love doing things with her, and she's always wanting to do a craft, especially that um, those perler beads. She loves doing those, and that's why I've um, bought quite a few of them for her problem is is I have to do the separating so it's not like I can just be doing my own thing while she's um while I'm telling her which beads to put down I have to actually be separating beads while she's doing it because each each uh set of beads you get you have all new beads to separate but the good thing is is that their colors um you know, are universal throughout their kits. That's why I prefer that brand. That's one of the reasons why I prefer that brand. Um, because you can just mix them. And uh, their little color charts, all you have to do is stick the little perler bead on the chart and you can tell what color it's supposed to be. Uh, you can put your little beads on there to match it. So I can mix all the different sets that we get. But some of them are like glow in the dark, and those ones are a little more difficult to ch color check. All right, Cynthia in Pennsylvania, your order is ready. And let's get the little thing tucked away in there. That's another 10 zone mailing trip it's going to have because I'm in Oregon. And the next one goes to Amanda in Oregon. She will get hers pretty quickly. And she ordered the rose gold. Diamonds are girl's best friend. Here's your receipt. And here is your pen. And there's your drill tip. So, let's see, what to talk about. The pearl, I was talking about perler beads. But I, um, she likes doing them because I don't know why. And then she, she got this idea that she wanted magnets on them. So I had went out and purchased some button magnets. 
and they were perfect. <clears throat> this last one that we made was from uh, Mario Brothers, and it was the star that's in the game, Mario Brothers. So it's just a star, and then it had two slit, two black slits for the eyes, and it was pretty easy to make with just two colors. And she was, she started asking me for a magnet on it, but then she changed her mind because she likes playing with it. And those ones, she, they're sturdy enough to shoot where she can play with them. The one I got at Michael's, the generic off-brand, it was, it, it, no melt, no amount of melting would keep it together. And it's, it's, it's in like 10 different pieces right now, just from sitting there. I didn't do any. Uh, has it been messed with or anything and it's just it just keeps falling apart and I spent so much time trying to get that thing melted and it, yeah that was one of my reasons I didn't want to touch the <laughs> perler beads again but you know the name brand perler those ones work really well but that's the other reason why I prefer the Perler brand. Because it's actually quality. Alright. There we go. Amanda in Oregon. Your order is ready. Tuck it away inside here. I hope my husband didn't fall asleep, take a nap or whatever, because he's going to have to get up and go to the post office. Luckily, you know, our town is small and he can get there pretty quickly. Maybe five minutes to get there. All right, this next order goes to Carol in M.O. I forgot to check to see. I think that's Missouri. Yeah, Missouri. And she ordered the Loud and Proud drill pin with hope breast cancer awareness on it and that is right here it's got just a little bit of discoloration that the pin came in there's nothing that was done to it that's just part of the pin and there's your drill tip I made these up a long time ago when I first got them because, you know, I have to make sure that they're going to be able to be made into pens sometimes, so I will make it ahead of time. But I like when I discover that it's already been made. <laughs> And these are another one that are hard to find, but I did find some that they're, they're, they're kind of character pins. I mean, they're not like a known character, but they're like these women, women pins. They're made, uh, you'll see when I get them. Hopefully I'll get them someday when China opens back up. This uh, Chinese New Year, they take it very seriously. Everything shuts down. It's funny though, is I've, I've actually had um, a couple of orders actually mail out, ship out. I did a notification, got a notification today that something was shipped. So I'm thinking maybe it was because I've gotten some that are in uh, from other countries too, not just China. And you know, I didn't realize that. I thought everything on AliExpress was from China. Guess not. I wonder if there's anything that I can hmm. I really should have found a tag first. But like I said, I went to sleep so early last night. 
I didn't get anything, any of those things done to prepare for one of these videos. It's, you know, you gotta, you actually have to prepare for them. You know, now I get all the bubble wrap, wrap uh, cut up. So Carol in Missouri, your order is ready. Pretty sparkly. But I pre-cut the bubble wrap now, and that makes it way faster. I have my husband um, put putting. He puts the labels on the envelopes. He puts the fragile the fragile stickers on, and now he puts the purchase order inside the envelope. And he, he sticking out like this so that I can just grab it. So the next one goes to Rhonda in Missouri. And she ordered four items. She ordered the orange peacock pizzazz. She ordered the dark blue moon half celestial charm pen. Those are those two. And the myth of the mermaid. And a stitch with pink ears. Whoops. That one I'm going to have to redo. I totally forgot. These two pens were supposed to be remade differently. So I will be back. I am going to fix okay, this. Okay, I am back and I fixed this order. Okay, so this was supposed to have one nine placer and one six placer. So it has been fixed. So here is your nine placer. And here is your six placer. And I'm sorry about that. That's one of the reasons why um, I need to get the shop set up better so that things like that won't get missed. Because the, yeah, the way we did it was uh, not very organized for me. So. Yeah, that won't happen again. Terribly sorry. All right. Let's get this wrapped up. She had four pins, I believe, so the other one will be with the new paper that I have all ready to go. So I actually watched um, the Super Bowl commercials yesterday, just the commercials and halftime. And I am a big Adam Levine fan. And man, oh man, that half half show. Oh, I am tongue tied right now. That. That man has moves, I tell ya. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed that show. Well, the Adam Levine parts. The other parts, you know, not so much. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it was okay, but it wasn't, you know, what I was looking forward to seeing. <clears throat> tell ya, as an adult, um, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, yeah, I have a, a slight crush on him, but it has, it is nothing compared to my Adam Levine crush. I used to watch The Voice just so I could watch Adam Levine. Oh man, but boy did that half show, whew, tell ya, I don't know what to say about that. That was just, mmm. I don't think I'll ever forget it. But some of the commercials were pretty good. Uh, not as thrilling as the ones were last year. And yeah, this has the pink and the special charm. So let me get that. There we go. This one's got yellow and green. So if you watch the Super Bowl or the Super Bowl commercials, which one was your favorite? Um, 
the commercials themselves, I think my favorite was, hmm, I like the one where the guy, it's at one of the car commercials, it's where the guy um, sees his grandpa at the beginning. Oh yeah, let's wrap this. <laughs> I won't tell you in case you haven't seen it, but it's pretty good. Here's your Celestial Charm, it's the last one, and I do have more in, on order, but you know the situation with that, Where what's going on with that. There's your drill pin. Here's your stitch with pink ears. And there's your drill tip. All right. Let's get this nice and protected. I'm putting both of the dangles at the top because I have a piece of bubble wrap that I have over here to wrap them up in. And where is it? There it is. Okay. Oh, I either have something green on me or a bruise. I think it's green tape of some sort. It's like, it's like wrapping up miniature pins. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, get the little chains wrapped and everything. There we go. hard for my fingers to hold on to that tiny of stuff. Might be a little hard to unwrap with all the tape, but I'd rather be safe than sorry I'm getting these guys protected. There we go. All right. Let's get back into the groove. Okay. So yeah, I haven't watched The Voice in a long time. Okay, I, mean, I thought that I forgot to uh, put in that keychain because <laughs> I tend to forget that. But I didn't forget. Um, I don't even know what I was asking. The Voice, I used to watch The Voice. But it, it got kind of stale when they were showing it. They were showing it too much. They were doing it twice a year, I think. And that would just got to be too much. Um, because it's on like three days a week or something like that. Or for two hours at a time. Where is my washi tape? Oh, there it is. And that was just a lot of TV. Too much television to watch it, you know, one time with all the other good shows that are out there. And with them switching the uh, judges up, kind of miss seeing uh, Christina Aguilera and CeeLo. Because we were watching it back when they were judges. Well, we started, well, season one. And then you know, they got Alicia Keys, and they got Miley Cyrus, and uh, they had um, Gwen Stefani, and then they, and they had Usher. Right now they have, I think, uh, I have no idea who they have now. I just watched a video on YouTube, a uh, uh, guy singing Adam's song. But I think I had seen that one when it was when it aired. All right. 
Okay, Rhonda, your order is ready. There you go. Sorry about the mix-up. I, I'm, like, scatterbrained sometimes. All right. It'll be nice and protected. I only have a few more. And then we'll be done. All right, your order is ready to go. So there's four more. Next one goes to Julie in Florida. She ordered the Glitter Fun in blue. There's your receipt. Here is your pin. There's the glitter and the fun. And there's your drill tip. Get this puppy going. Because as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to work on adding that stuff into the shop and getting this post this video uploaded at the same time. And there we go. We're, we need to go into town tomorrow or this weekend, either you know, tomorrow or Sunday which it'll probably be tomorrow, since Sunday we'll probably be making pins, um, to see about getting some more pins. The ones that I sometimes am able to pick up in town. And I had... I had the weirdest dream last night. It's it's so weird I can't even explain it, but it has to do with death and zombies and oh, just some really bad stuff. Cannibalism. I don't know. And I, I haven't watched anything like that in a really long time. I mean, I just watched Big Brother yesterday and then the Super Bowl commercials. Oh, and then I started watching um, American Ninja Warrior. Um, the regular season hasn't started, but they do Versus the World, where they uh, have teams from other countries, and they go up against them to get the trophy. And it was like a two-hour show. I did not get to finish watching it because it was time for bed and I got to go to bed. Okay. But tonight I plan on watching... There's three, three hours of Big Brother to watch tonight because we didn't watch last night's episode. All right, Julie in Florida, your order is ready. Get that tucked away for you. So after um, we get, I get done in here, we'll I'll probably go out there and I'm almost finished with my rhinestone um, horse and then I'll be able to show you guys that. Next order is for Lori in Ohio. She ordered the puppy power in black and the mooing cow. So here are your pins. Here's your doggy drill pin. Mooing cow drill tip. And let's pull it out so you can hear it moo. And I will put this tab back in so it will not go off during shipping. And as you can see, it won't go off. That was my last mooing pen, mooing cow pen. Um, I have some unicorns left, but I need to know if the mooing cow pen, there's interest out there before I order more because I had only ordered two. And it took, um, oops, it took a good three weeks to just get uh, two of them moved. 
and the unicorn pins don't move very fast either so I don't know if I'll order them again or not it just depends I haven't decided two more after this and it's 2 30 so wow I'm doing pretty good there's plenty of time to be able to get this out into the mail so you guys will have them within the next one to three days of course uh, the order that's here in Oregon will probably get it tomorrow and the ones in like Pennsylvania Florida sorry you'll probably have to wait three days to get yours that's just because we can't magically teleport things yet. Mm, you know, there's all those movies about teleportation and stuff. Who knows, maybe someday. But, I don't know. Teleporting is a little bit... Um, fantasy, fiction. But I think they figured that, you know, TV, like Skype stuff was fantasy too, back in the 60s. Now I know in the 70s they had videos, they had movies about, or uh, films about in the future, this kind of thing. You know, who knows, maybe they were working on it, something like that back then. Dunno. I know computers were ginormous and they weren't a household thing back then either. Alright, so your order is ready, Lori, in Ohio. Here you go. Thank you. Pack your little cow and your doggy away. At least they'll have each other to keep for company while they travel across the country. Alright, two more. We've got Crystal in Texas. She ordered the mermaid tail and a glitter fun pen in blue as well. And here are your pens. Here's your glitter fun. Oh, <laughs> there we go. And there's your drill. Tip. And here is your mermaid pin tip. <laughs> your myth of the mermaid tail. And let's get these going. Let's turn this this way. It's better. There we go. Okay. Now we get them wrapped. And then we have one more after this one. Okay. What should I talk about for the next seven minutes? if that long. Um, oh, I don't know. That is a little tiny amount. I probably cut something too big to um, make it a perfect amount for doing uh, two. Because I can normally get six I can wrap six pens out of one sheet, well, the double sheets, and or six packages of pens, and then I counted them all out before I started so that I would have everything prepared. So I only have one to go. This will definitely wrap the one, but I might have to use all of it. But sometimes I get small packages like um, the miniature pins or something and they don't need a lot. 
of wrapping for those. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just jabbering right now. <laughs> All right, Crystal, I'm hoping that's how you say your name in Texas. Your order is ready. And let's get that tucked away in here. Maybe once in a while you can hear a bubble pop. I don't mean to. All right, last one goes to Aloha. Aloha? I don't know if that's how you say your name, Aloha or Aloha in Pennsylvania. She ordered uh, the blue gem-tipped pen with filling. There's your receipt. And here is the pen. And there is your beautifully filled pen. And here's your drill tip. And let's get this going. I'm going to um, say my goodbyes now. Thank you for keeping me company while I was getting this order out. I really appreciate you guys who watch and like my videos and hit that thumbs up button and um, thank you for watching all my other videos too uh, it's, it means the world to me that I have people who actually want to watch me and I hope you guys have a great day have a wonderful time diamond painting. And you know what else I'm going to say? Hmm. Yep, yeah, you guessed it. But I'm going to say it here in a minute. Because I didn't finish as fast as I thought I would say my saying, my stuff. I'll say it. Even though you guys probably already know what I'm going to say. This will run out. Let's see. Oh, it still has a little bit left. Maybe it can wrap half of a package. All right, that's the last one. So, Aloha, 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 whichever way you say it, you can let me know. In Pennsylvania, your order is ready. And, guys, don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. I will see you guys in the next video, which will probably be tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Bye.